today. Let me introduce myself. I'm Alia Priyati, participant of the 2022 National Student Competition Competition from Banten Province. Today, I will give education about stroke and how to do water-based exercise. A stroke, sometimes called a brain attack, occurs when something blocks blood supply to parts of the brain or when a blood vessels in brain burst. In other case, parts of the of the brain become damaged or die. A stroke can cause lasting brain damage, long-term disability, and even death. Learn about the heart condition and lifestyle habits that can increase your risk for stroke. Many factors can increase the risk of stroke. Potentially treatable stroke risk factor include first lifestyle risk factor, being overweight or obese, physical inactivity, heavy or being drinking, use of illegal drugs such as cocaine and methamphetamine. Second, medical risk factor. First, high blood pressure, cigarette smoking or secondhand smoke exposed, high cholesterol, diabetes, obstructive sleep apnea, cardiovascular disease including heart failure, heart defect, heart infection or irregular heart rhythm such as atrial fibrillation. Personal or family history or of stroke, stroke attack or or transient ischemic attack. Other factors associated with a higher risk of stroke include age, risk of ethnicity, sex, and hormone. Many stroke prevention strategies are the same as strategies to prevent heart disease. In general, healthy lifestyle recommendations include 1. Controlling high blood pressure or hypertension 2. Lowering the amount of cholesterol and the saturated fat in your diet 3. Stop smoking for managing diabetes 5. Maintaining a healthy weight 6. Eating a diet rich in fruit and vegetable 7. Exercising regularly and now, I will educate about water-based training. Water-based training education aimed at the increasing the muscle strength of extremists in post-stroke patients. This exercise is divided into three stages. First, conditioning. Second, treatment water-based exercise. Third, final conditioning. Physical exercise is required by post-stroke patient so that their extremity can function normally again and not become dependent. One method of exercise that can be used is water-based exercise. Water-based exercise therapy is performed by 6 to 8 weeks of duration twice a week. One hour of time therapy. These therapies have many benefits, among other things, increased availability of oxygen in the body, result in muscle and oxygen war, increase in circulation and increase uh, oxygen absorption in the nerve tissue, reduce muscle rigidity, make joint tissue more flexible and more mobile. The advantage of water-based exercise, those who suffer from, uh, from stroke have increased the strain of extremity muscles in the faster period than basic therapy and online exercise. It also makes patients more relaxed and enjoyable. Patients do activities in the pool in order to get a pleasant atmosphere and that it is good for the patient mental health. Doing physical therapy in the swimming pool can strengthen the patient extremity muscles. In addition, allow patients to socialize with the other people for readapt to the outside environment. And by doing this therapy, it confines the elderly or stroke sufferers to always be grateful for their current condition. First, conditioning. 
by moving the left and right feet alternately guided by the instructor. If the patient is unable to move her own leg, the instructor will have move her leg slowly. Follow by moving both hands up and down. If the patient is unable to move her own hand, the instructor will help. Then, we move on to the core movement. The patient steps slowly into the middle of the pool while being guided or guided slowly. Then slowly position her body until the chest is submerged in water. The next movement, the patient stand on the edge of the pool with his arm supporting the pool wall, which is helped by the instructor to keep it safe. Then the patient is asked to move her leg in a pedaling position. The next movement, the instructor helps the patient to move the right and left leg back alternately. The next movement, the patient is asked to hold two elastic rubber balls the size of her hand grip and then the instructor asks to do a cross movement namely squeezing the ball using the right hand while bending the left leg this movement is done alternately if the patient is unable to move her own hand the instructor will help then slowly position the patient body to the limit of his chest Then, with the help of the big ball, the patient is quiet to swim into the pool, while still being held by the instructor to swim around the pool. The last movement, moving the right and left leg alternately guided by the instructors. Move both hands up and down. If the patient is unable to move her own hand, the instructor will help. Knowing your stroke risk factors, following your healthcare provider's recommendation and adopting a healthy lifestyle are the best steps you can take to prevent a stroke. Take care of your health and thanks for watching.